Right, today we're going to look at resistance in series circuits and we're going to look at resistance in parallel circuits. So starting with the, re uh, starting with the series circuit then, um, well starting actually with resistance. What is resistance? So resistance is simply the resistance to the flow of charge or the resistance to the current. If you've got a high resistance in a circuit then you're going to have a low current. Okay. Now let's take this this circuit for example. This is a series circuit with three resistors in series. We've got R1, R2, R3. The current is going to flow through R1, then it's going to flow through R2, and then it's going to flow through R3, one after the other or in series. Okay. Now let's say, let's give these resistors, these resistors some value. So let's give, let's say this is 10 ohms, let's say this is 15 ohms, and then this one here can have the highest resistance, this one can have 20 ohms. Okay. Now, how is that, how, how is, what is the total resistance of this circuit going to be? Well, you might guess, okay, because the current has to flow through one, then the other, then the other, that the total, uh, the total, res the total resistance is going to just add together. Yeah. So the total resistance of the circuit, our total, is just going to be R1 plus R2 plus R3, and then if you've got any more devices, R4, R5, R6, and so on. This one's only got three, so we just add in the three together. So what's the total resistance of this circuit going to be? Well, you just take 10, you add 15, and you add 20, you get 45 ohms okay so that potential difference then has to be shared across three resistors yeah so therefore the, the current is going to go down yeah because the resistance is going up yeah now which resistor then so we know in series circuits that the current is going to be the same no matter where you measure it so I could measure the, the current in in any position in that circuit it'll be the same everywhere but we know that the potential difference is not the same everywhere. If I measured the potential difference across R1, I would get a different reading to if I measured the potential difference across R3. Yeah. Well, how does it share itself between the devices? How does that, that potential difference share itself between the three devices? Well, all it does is so the, the, uh, the device with the biggest resistance, R3 here, is going to take the biggest share of uh, biggest share of potential difference. Why is that? Because the bigger the potential difference, yeah, the harder it is to push the electrons through it. So it's going to take more energy to do so. Therefore, it's going to take more potential difference from the circuit. R1 will take the least potential difference to this from the circuit because it's it doesn't take as much energy or it doesn't take as much voltage to push the electrons through it. Okay, lower resistance. Yeah. Let's talk about parallel circuits then. Right, so parallel circuits. This is a parallel circuit. There's three different branches in this particular parallel circuit. The uh, the current can flow either through R1, it can flow through R2, or it can flow through R3. Okay, this is going to mean that the total resistance of the circuit is actually going to be lower uh, than the resistance of the resistors. Yeah. So imagine R1 had the smallest resistance. Yeah adding more routes for the electricity to go down is going to reduce the resistance even further. So more resistors in parallel is going to reduce the resistance of the circuit. Yeah, that's quite tricky to get your head round, but if you think about it, there's more routes for the electricity to take. Imagine if you've got a main road, yeah, with lots of cars traveling through it and you decide to open up another you open up a bypass. Yeah, that's exactly what we're doing here. We're opening up a bypass. We're allowing, you know, there's another route for the cars to take. There's another route for the electrons to take. Therefore, you can get more of them through in any one, at any one time. Yeah, so the resistance goes down and the total current go, will go up okay, from the battery or from the cell. Okay. We know that the potential difference across all three of those resistors is going to be the same because it's a parallel circuit. So the potential difference is the same across all three branches what about the current then? How is the current going to share itself between those three branches? Well, the, we know that the electricity prefers to take the path of least resistance. Yeah. So we, if we said that R1 has the lowest resistance, then more electricity will flow down that one. The higher current will flow through R1. Yeah. And you can you can work out the current through R1 using V equals IR. 
you work, if you use vehicles IR, then you can you can rearrange that for current, and you can take the potential difference of the power supply, divide it by the resistance of R1, and you get uh, you get the current through R1. Yeah. Likewise, you can do, you can do the same for the series circuit. Yeah, you can use V equals I R to work out the current through each of those resistors. V equals I R. You just take voltage, the voltage of the power supply up here, and divide it by the resistance. The total resistance in this circuit is 45. Okay. Here's a slightly trickier example. So this time we've got a uh, we, we've got we've got a parallel circuit with two branches. Okay. So some of it will flow that way. Some of it will flow that way. Well, we've also got a little series, comp uh, the two components in series up at the bottom here. Okay, so these two components are in series. So to figure out the resistance of this branch here, all we've got to do is add together um, those two resistances. So this this one is just going to add together, and then this is just going to be the resistance R1. Okay, um, so this is a combination of a series and a parallel circuit. Yeah, so we've got parallel circuit because there's two routes for the electricity to take but then this branch here has got two devices in series with each other okay right uh, what I want you to do then here is some follow-up questions for you to have a go at uh, you need to use the V equals IR for both of these questions all of these questions so have a go at that I will see you in the next video or oh, I'll, I'll put the answers below and I'll see you in the next video